So in HTML, so we can also group part of those elements into a block. So that is what we call the block elements. Uh, we can also change the item within an element. So the attributes of the item in within element. So that is called the inline element. So block level element is that is a way that we can group multiple elements together. So that can help us to organize HTML tags. Uh, so for example, those um, block elements can contain the other elements as their child elements. The most common one is called the DRV tag. Okay, so DRV tag is the most commonly used containers of the block elements for the other HTML elements. So for example, here we have a DRV tag where it has a uh, head tag and also has a p tag and we have finished DRV tag and for that DRV tag we can change the colors like the background color the color and also uh, the other styles and we can pass the other information into this style attribute so then all the items within that block elements will keep will follow the style that we define here the inline elements mean that we can control the items within another element. Uh, so for example, that the span tag is the one that mostly used that to change the attribute within a tag. So here, for example, uh, we have an H1 tag. And we want to just change the color of this one to be red. So instead of change the entire headings. So here we can use a span tag. And Thus, in within this span tag, we can change the style of the color to be red. And then if we display the style and we'll see that only this word will be red. So for example here, uh, let's say we, we bring uh, our first DRV tag. And so that will stop. Here, so that everything that so this DLA tag has H1 header, P tag, and also a table. And we can have another DLV tag that it contains the everything that until the body. Okay. Uh, so here you can give each DRV tag a different attribute like the ID, icons, first DRV. Okay, and for this one we can call it ID equals second DRV. Okay, so we have first DRV tag and also our second DRV tag. Uh, we can also change the styles. For example, let's say style equals. So those are some C, uh, CCN styles. Uh, let's say just say uh, background color is black, semicolon, and also color is white. Okay, so we just change the style for the first DRV tag. And for the second DRV tag, let's use a span tag in this case. So we just change the, the, the color of the two. We see span style equals, we see color comma is red. And we finish a span here. And let's save it. Okay, uh, so let's refresh it, see how it looks like. Okay, I had a typo previously, so now this is right. So you can see we have the first DRV tag and we have the second DRV tag. So for the first DRV tag, we set background color equals black and also the color of the word equals white. Uh, for the second DRV, we just gave it ID, so we didn't change anything of the style. However, in the second DRV tag, we did change the color of the number two of the header heading. And you can see only the two has the, the red color. So the class attribute. 
Uh, so class attribute is a special attribute in HTML. So it is the most used to control the styles uh, of the HTML code. Uh, so it defines the equal styles for the element when you have the same class names. So first we have to define the style for that class. And next we can apply the class to our elements. So remember that normally we define the styles in our header because header is where we contain the mental data. So here we define a DRV tag. Um, specifically, we define okay, for that tag, we have a city style that background color is black and also color is white. And next, when we create this DRV tag, we can tell, okay, for that class, I want to apply the city style. And you don't need to type those like background color, blah, etc. Et in this DRV tag, you just call the class that you predefined here. And also all these tags will apply the style that's predefined. And this is another example that we define a span tag that called a note. And where we say okay, the color will be red. And next we want to change the color to be red. So you can just say, okay, for this important word, I'm going to apply the color um, where the class is equals note. Okay. Okay, so let's try that one. Um, so let's say, as I, as I said, that normally we define those metadata in this uh, header section. Let's say we define a DRV. Uh, let's first, let's say the style tag. Okay, within that style tag, let's say DRV dot uh, let's call it um, DRV style and which will be defined in this um, dictionary we see back ground color is black semicolon and the color is white, okay, and the semicolon. And let's also define our second one. So let's let's define span dot span style. Okay, so for this span style, let's say color is red. Okay, so here we define two styles. The first one called DRV style, which background color is black and also white color, the, uh, the other, the words are color is white. And next we define a span style, we say that the color is red. Okay, uh, so next let's apply the style for the first DRV tag. So here you can see instead of type those styles, we can just see that class equals DRV style. Okay, because this is a DRV tag, so we create a DRV style class. And for for next one, the second span, we can, we don't need to type the style colors, but instead we can see class attribute equals span style. Okay, span style that we defined here. And let's see whether or not that will work. Okay, actually it worked because you can see that um, nothing has changed and but we are but we changed the attribute uh, we but we are using the class attribute instead. So here let's see instead of applying that uh, style for the first DRV, so let's move that one to the second DRV. Okay. So you can see it's very convenient to do that. So now let's refresh it. So now you can see that now our second DRV are using the background color, which is black, and also all the words are white except the, the number two, because number two has a span tag that said the color should be red. Okay, uh, finally, so um, right now the so HTML has, uh, most of them following the HTML5 standards. 
Uh, so that has been published, I think, for several years. So in HTML5, so it will support the, the media, multimedia, more friendly. And also there are more elements that added to those HTML5. Uh, so right now, most of the browsers, they support HTML5 and most websites are using HTML5 standard. So in HTML5, there are more elements that added. So for example, they have the header elements. So in the past, probably in HTML4, so you have defined a DRV tag where ID equals header. And next you have to control the style for that header DRV tag. But here now we have the header uh, elements. Uh, similarly, we have the navigator, which is equivalent to the menu and also section, article, footer, etc. Okay, so those are just some FYI that so the, the current standard of HTML is HTML5. And in HTML5, so we have a lot of more elements that can support multimedia and also that will be more efficient.